Our Walt Grayson wraps up the week with a story that may be far-fetched. Well, or the uh, strangest factual account ever. What have you come up with this time, Walt? Yeah, that's right, Melanie. I find the story of Sylvester McGee fascinating. Now, when I mention it to serious historians, they sort of roll their eyes. And... But let me just tell you the story, and you make up your own mind. The story of Sylvester McGee ends here, in a cemetery behind Pleasant Valley Methodist Church in Foxworth, Marion County. He passed away back in 1971. Here's what we think we know. Jeanette Daniels skips to the chase with his most remarkable attribute, his age. Yes, he lived to be, according to history and the data that we've collected throughout the uh, Internet, he was 130 years of age when he passed away in 1971. Sylvester McGee was born in North Carolina and wound up as an enslaved person in Mississippi. He had no birth certificate, but Chancery Court records in Covington County list him and his father as being passed on to the next of kin when their owner died in 1859. And Mr. McGee would have been about 20 years old when the Civil War broke out. He was pulled into the war as an arms bearer on the side of the South, then escaped to the Union Army and was pressed into service during the siege of Vicksburg. So, if his age is true, he would have been the last surviving emancipated slave in the country when he died in 1971. Not only that, since he served with the Union at Vicksburg, he would have been the last Union Civil War veteran. And since he started the war on the side of the South, he would have been the last Confederate veteran, too. His name is listed in a book called Black Confederates. So, is it all fairy tales and ramblings of an old man? Well, Sylvester McGee's accounts of the Union Army crossing the Big Black River after the Battle of Champion Hill on their way into Vicksburg convinced historian A.P. Andrews that he had to have been there. Since Mr. McGee couldn't read or write, how else would he have known all the minute details and the names of the officers? Sylvester McGee, the man, perhaps the myth, but a well-played myth if it was, the last person living to have experienced slavery and emancipation in the country, a veteran of both sides of the Civil War, not to mention he lived to be 130 years old. Now, I was told by one source that with some help of some well-wishers, they managed to convince the VA hospital he was a Union Civil War veteran a hundred years after the war ended to get him some medical treatment. Unless, of course, that story's a myth, too. But I love a good story.